Tales from the Treehouse. Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to Tales from the Treehouse. I'm going to tell you a story, so make sure you're feeling nice and comfy. Make sure you're lying or sitting down, not too warm, not too cold, just feeling relaxed. To help, take a breath in and out. In for three, one, two, three, out for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In for three, one, two, three, out for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Soft, calm, and relaxed. This will help your imagination flow. This is a listening story, so that you can close your eyes if you like and watch the pictures to go with the story just come into your mind. Imagine what all the characters look like for you and walk through their world with them. Here we go. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once there was a little house in the middle of a huge forest. In this house there lived three bears. There was a big daddy bear, there was a medium-sized mummy bear, and there was a little teeny weeny little baby bear. Now, every morning, Father Bear used to make the porridge. It was the thing they did in their house. Father Bear made it, he was very good at it, and then Mother Bear would serve it up, and they'd all eat that for breakfast every day. Now on the day of our story, Father Bear had made the porridge, he had it all ready, Mother Bear came down to serve it, and Baby Bear joined them at the table. Mother Bear dished up a little bit for everybody. They all took their spoons, dipped them into their porridge, and tasted it. Ow! they all said. Oh. oh dear, it's a little too hot, said Father Bear. It is rather, isn't it, dear, said Mother Bear. I just burnt my lip, I just said, my lip, it's burning, said Baby Bear. Hmm, what shall we do? I have an idea, said Mother Bear. What's that, dear, said Father Bear. I think we should go for a little walk in the wood and wait for our porridge to cool down. If for a little while, it'll be perfect when we come back. Oh, yeah, I like go for walking in the woods, said Baby Bear. Oh, splendid idea, said Father Bear. Let's do that now, shall we? And so they did. They left everything there, and off they went. Now, not far from where these bears lived, a little girl lived with her mother. Now she'd done a very naughty thing, I'm sorry to say. But then, as you shall see, this girl wasn't the best behaved girl. Her name was Goldilocks. And she was called Goldilocks because she had very golden locks of hair. Now, she'd actually gone out of her house and gone off to play in a place where her mother didn't know where she'd gone. She'd just walked off into the woods. She hadn't even told her mother she was going. Anyway, after walking for some time in the woods, skipping along, picking flowers, looking at the birds, Goldilocks found the little house and she saw that the door was just a little bit open. She had a peek in through the window. Nobody seemed to be home. Then she did her second naughty thing. She went into their house, just like that. She just opened up the door, and without so much as a by your leave, she just walked straight on in. How is that? acceptable behaviour. You don't just walk into somebody else's house, do you? I'm sure you don't. You'd knock on the door, they'd invite you in, all that kind of thing. Anyway, she didn't care, she just went straight on in, and then she saw on the table the three bowls of porridge. Oh, brilliant, she thought. Porridge. I love porridge. I'm going to eat some porridge. Oh, yeah. She walked up to the biggest bowl of all. We know that was Daddy Bear's porridge, don't we? Anyway, she got the spoon, she dipped it in, she ate some and went, Ow! Oh, this porridge is too hot. So then, 
she took a little bit of mummy bear's porridge from the medium-sized bowl. Ah, oh, she said, yuck, this porridge is too salty. Because some people like porridge with salt in it instead of sugar, you know. Then she took a bit of baby bear's porridge on the spoon. Oh, yes, she said, this porridge is just right. And she gobbled down the whole lot. Ah, oh, I feel like I need to sit down now, she thought. What's this one like? Oh, no, she said, trying Father Bear's chair. This chair is too big. So she tried the medium-sized chair. Oh, no, she thought. This chair is too hard. It hurts my bottom. So she sat on the littlest chair. Baby Bear's chair. Hmm. Oh, yes, she said. This chair is just right. And then suddenly, <coughs> the chair broke underneath her and she ended up in a heap in amongst all the broken bits of chairs and chair legs and everything all over the floor on her bottom with her legs waving in the air. Oh dear, she thought to herself. Huh, not a decent chair then. Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs and see what's there. She just walked upstairs in someone else's house and went into the big bedroom up there. That, I think you can agree, was naughty thing number three. Anyway, she got up there and saw these three beds. First of all, she went up to the biggest bed of all, which, as you know, must have been Daddy Bear's bed. She got up onto it and went <laughs> and collapsed into the middle of it. And the bed was so soft that her bottom sunk right into the very middle of it, with her arms and legs stuck up in the air all around her. <laughs> oh dear, she thought. I can't sleep in this bed, it's too soft. So she clambered out somehow and went over to the medium-sized bed. She got in there and went, oh, uh, oh, 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 she rolled around a bit, but uh, uh, I can't get comfy, she thought to herself. This bed is too lumpy. So she went over to the smallest bed of all and she got in. And she pulled up the blankets and cuddled herself up to the pillows and found that this bed was just right. And so, before long, Goldilocks had fallen asleep and was snoring soundly when who should come back from their walk in the woods? <laughs> yeah, the three bears. <sighs> I can't wait to eat my porridge, said Father Bear. Nor can I, dear. It should be just right by now. Oh, I can't wait either. I am starving after walking in the woods. Father Bear went up to his bowl. Hold on a moment. My spoon wasn't there. I do believe somebody has been eating my porridge. Then Mother Bear went up to her bowl. She said, Oh yes, here too. My spoon has some porridge on it that I certainly didn't put there. Somebody has been eating my porridge. Yuck, said Baby Bear. Somebody has been eating my porridge and I've eaten it all up. They looked at Baby Bear's empty bowl and then Father Bear noticed his chair had moved. What's this? he said. Somebody has been sitting in my chair. Mother Bear went up to the medium-sized chair. She said, Oh, yes, and somebody has been sitting in my chair. What? said Baby Bear suddenly. Somebody been sitting in my chair? And look, they've broken it in little pieces. <laughs> <laughs> my poor chair! My favourite chair that burned it, Mummy! It it at all! Oh, what's going on here? said Father Bear. Hold on. Maybe, family, maybe the intruder is still here somewhere. Yes, said Mother Bear. Get behind me! 
I shall defend us with this large wooden spoon. She clutched the wooden spoon, and Father Bear and Baby Bear walked behind her as they went up the stairs. They found themselves in the bedroom. Father Bear noticed that his covers had been moved around straight away. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Father Bear. Yes, and look, somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Mother Bear. And then Baby Bear said, Somebody been sleeping in my bed, and I'm still in it. Look! All the bears gathered around Goldilocks as she lay there in Baby Bear's bed. Maybe she'd heard them in her sleep, but whatever. Suddenly she sensed that she wasn't alone. She woke up, her eyes opened, and she saw the three bears looking down on her. Her eyes shot open in shock, and she screamed, Aah! as she jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs, out of the door, through the forest, and all the way home. And I'm glad to say she learned her lesson and never went off playing in the woods without telling her mother where she was going ever again. So the three bears never saw her again, and they were quite content with that. And that's the end of my tale, as I heard it said, and if there's a fib in it, I'm off home to bed. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story today. There will be another one soon, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel or our blog so you get a message when the next one is ready. If you'd like to draw a picture of a scene you imagined from the story today, then I'd love to put it on our video here or on our website for other children to see. Please take a photo of your picture and email it to us at info at treehousetheatre.com. I was Ben all this time. Until next time, cheerio. Tales from the Treehouse.